Hi, this is Eric J coming at you with street news. No, we ain't professional and neither is this story. Back in July of 2022, a Texas mother called 911 after her babysitter told her that her three children was missing, ages nine, eight, and five. Police then put together a search team and the children's bodies were found the next day in a pond. Texas Park and Wildlife Lieutenant Jason Jones said, I found a pair of tennis shoes that belonged to one of the girls, and I also found footprints about 200 feet away from their home leading to the pond. But that's about it. The children's mother said, they told me that my girls had drowned, even though the autopsy said all three of them had been strangled to death and had cuts on their faces. All I've been trying to do is get justice for my babies, but nobody is trying to work with me. The district attorney of Cass County said, authorities knew that they were dealing with three homicides soon after finding those children's bodies. But instead of them letting the public know, they didn't, even though they didn't have a suspect. Forensic pathologist, Dr. Joy Carter said, these investigators should be out investigating. They should be looking for evidence. They should be draining that pond. There is no excuse to have an eight month gap when three little girls have been killed. There could have been evidence that could have been found on their bodies. But due to poor investigating and lack of money, a lot of children murders go unsolved. Listen, what could be the reason for the police not wanting to solve these children murders? Is it a fellow police officer that they trying to cover for? Is the killer related to someone on the police department? Help me make sense on how three children could get choked to death and threw in a pond and nobody cares. There's no outrage. There's no protest. There's just a black mother crying over three little black girls. And as far as that babysitter, how do you lose three children? What was you in the house doing? If you say you was doing anything in the house besides sleeping, I'm gonna tell you, you lying. Stop babysitting people cheering if you ain't gonna watch them. And it might just be me that think this way here, but I don't believe that these little girls snuck off late at night to go to a pond. Have y'all ever been to a pond at night? It's all kind of creepy stuff going on out there. Frogs, snakes, scary noises. I don't believe they went there on their own. I believe somebody took them there.